Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. We're just gonna play a normal Paradox run today because I... I feel like it. I, I'm, I'm beginning to... and I think I mentioned this in like a previous run of Gungeon, but I kind of... I've gotten around to the, the Paradox. I keep punching my microphone, I'm sorry, but I, I keep coming around to the Paradox as a good starting character because of the... Oh, we don't get the ammo bonus from the Makarov, lovely. Uh, just because of the... Just fact that we can get some random starting equipment and that can kind of help to make the beginning of a run just a little bit less samey in Gungeon. Because, I mean, there's six, seven if you count the Gunslinger starting characters, if you also do not count the Paradox. And the Paradox, to me, it's, it's kind of a nice character to play as in order to, to mix up the starting of a run, because the starting of a run of Gungeon is usually a bit samey, so I like it. Like the Makarov, I, I hate the Makarov. It's, you know, one of the worst guns in the game. Let's use it as a room clear for the first floor, why not? I will say we did get a pretty low draw on the Paradox starting items. Extra ammo capacity is always nice, but it is only an, well, it's a, a D tier item, so it's not that particularly useful. And again, the Makarov is, well, it's it's the Makarov. <laughs> oh boy, we got ammo. I have to wonder though, it, it, is it more DPS than the starting pistol here? Our, it's not budget revolver, it's, Rusty Sidearm! I embarrassed that I had to look, but I couldn't remember what it was on the Hunter. I knew it was the Hunter gun, but I couldn't remember what the Hunter's starting pistol was, because it's not this fancy Rusty Sidearm that's not rusty at all, that's all kind of magical. I got a little confused. I confused myself on that one, really. Boy, more ammo! Oh, thanks, Gungeon. You shouldn't have. Ugh. I have to think that it's a little bit better DPS than the starting pistol, if only just because you can actually fire it much more quickly than the starting pistol, and it has one extra shot before you have to reload, and the reload is pretty quick as well. You know, it still takes three bullets to kill a standard bulletkin, so I have to imagine that he's just going, he killed himself! <laughs> what a trooper, he really wanted to get that KO. Oh fuck, that was funny. <laughs> but I have to imagine the Makarov is going to be better, so let's use that against the, uh, the boss here. And sure, we'll do this right now. Because we're already here. Let's fight the boss. We're gonna get a gun from the boss, but honestly, I'm okay with that. We could use a gun. Let's make sure to blow up the barrels, and eventually Gatling Gull will hopefully take care of all these freaking uh, shrubs. There we go. On a big open arena like this without the water, on a Gatling Gulf fight, you know, as long as you're not in DD20, there's basically no reason to take damage. Just do your dodging. On the attack where he stops moving, you go a little bit slow. Could have used a blank there. Probably would have been in my best interest. I mean, we already found the secret room and have been to the secret room. There's no reason not to use a blank when he fires at one of those big bullets, but. I don't know, I wanted to prove that I could. <laughs> Which is, uh, you know, in many situations, how I take dumb damage against a boss. But really, that's the only attack you have to blink anyways, is when he fires that big ball. Fires that big ball! Not quite. Crit caliber, ugh. I mean, I shouldn't say ugh, but it's definitely not one of my favorite guns in Gungeon here. We should, we don't have enough money. Sorry, grenade. I like to go to the oubliette. Um, I'm not a big fan of crit caliber, AKA Vorpal. 
But at least I've disabled all that weird, you know, crappy slow motion stuff that happens, so it's not that bad anymore. Alright. I mean, this is a pretty good floor. More ammo capacity? You know, the thing about the ammo belt is that it is going to be nice. It's going to be nice in order to... Um, just have a little bit of extra ammo for better guns in the future. You know, so I can't complain too much about the ammo belt. I forget, does Vorpal Gun crit ghosts when they're not present? I think it does. I have a vague recollection of it critting the ghosts when they are ethereal. But I can't quite recall. I mean, it's always, you know, it's nice when you, whenever you get the crit. A lot of times, though, it's extreme overkill, but at least it's a, it's a fun gun that we can use for a while, but I'm not gonna use it for, I'm probably not gonna use it for bosses, especially if I get anything better. I'm kind of already, like, you're kind of seeing the problem with it, though, is that it's, it's a little tough to kill a specific enemy with it, because it only has six shots before you have to reload it. The damage of the individual projectiles is pretty low. You know, it can't kill a blue shotgunner in, like, one or even two clips, it seems like. <laughs> Like, this is why I don't like the gun, is that it just, whenever you don't get those crits, it just takes... It took like 50 bullets in order to kill two shotgunners, and then we crit the blob. <laughs> like, I mean, we're getting a lot of ammo, so it's not that bad right now, but I mean, that's why I hate this gun. <clears throat> I hate it. Disposable Count says you're, you're, he's, or... <laughs> they're drawing a Tape Jesus Shrine. I think that would be kind of cool, if there was a shrine that gave you duct taping. I would like that. You know, a lot of the shrines in the game, they're pretty infrequent to begin with, but anything that just kind of makes certain cool effects that you don't get that often, a little bit more common, a little bit more uh, likely to be usable, you know, you could just exchange it for a heart and some curse and then you get a duct tape. That'd be, that'd be kind of cool. That'd be down. You know, it's something that you can always take advantage of on a run, unless you're in like a DD, BCDD 20T run. Then it's like, well, who the freak cares? I'm listening to Milk Jug. It might be uh, in a couple minutes since you said, am I listening, but I'm listening. In any Gungeon run, I like to spend the first couple of minutes just uh, airing out my thoughts, you know? Although I don't know who you're referencing. I don't, I don't know a lot of streamers or YouTubers. I don't know a lot of, uh, of who people are referencing whenever they reference other people. I, I know a couple. And I don't, I don't mean personally, I just mean I know of their channels, I know that they exist. And I, I know that of the popular ones, the ones that you see in the news, or the ones that you always see on the front page, the ones that everyone complains about. But even other Gungeon streamers, I don't know too many. Because I'm the best, and I'm the only one that, that you need to know. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what I like to, th to think anyways. Uh, I'm gonna open it. Oh no! Dude, this is just the run of mediocre guns. We've got the bow now. <laughs> Come on, crit! I should have done a dodge roll. I don't know why I didn't. You finally get a crit. Oh my lord! <laughs> That's what I need. I need like to be able to charge up the crits on this gun and then just like 
shoot them out when I need them. Like, oh god, it's a freaking uh, uh, DD20 blob. And then I like how I crit that ghost twice. <laughs> and by critting that ghost twice, I made his body bounce around, which was kind of amusing. At least we're able to kill, like, honestly, I kind of feel like the bow is better than crit caliber. The Vorpal Gun. At least the bow is reliable. You know how much damage you're doing when you pull the trigger, and you know if you're going to get a kill on an enemy. With the crit, with the Vorpal Gun, it's just like, I don't know if I'm going to kill an enemy. It's going to take a million years, you know? I gotta feel like, I gotta feel like it's probably better. Oh god, prepare for this boss fight to take a million years, by the way. <laughs> what if you crit the chess? I don't know what that means. Crit the chess. Oh, the chess. I get it, I get it. Yeah, you can't crit the chest. You can only crit things that have HP. So, you can't crit LJ, you can't crit a NPC. The thing the thing about it is that um, Vorpal Gun, it doesn't fire a projectile when it applies its critical damage. It just instantly applies the damage to an enemy regardless of, of any obstacles, where they are in relation to you. It just, it finds the enemy closest to your mouse cursor and it does 100 damage. That's it. That was a dumb hit of damage to take earlier, by the way, um, on this fight. Every damage we take is just money down the drain, basically. We gotta be careful. Longest fight I've had against Blobulord in like a year. It feels like. Oh my god. The bow always crits. I mean, that's kind of what it feels like, isn't it? The bow at least gets a kill. Sometimes Crit Caliber has a hard time. Oh fuck. Actually, like, killing a standard Bulletkin, because it's got, you know, it's got a decent amount of spread on it. Dude, taking. I mean, I know I've, I have blanks. I want to find a secret room and get a whole bunch of HP from the secret room, but good lord! We need some better guns. So I can actually, you know, feel like I'm doing damage and not have to worry about dodging so much, but at least we did get a gun. We've done it. We got a gun. And it's a good gun, and it's a gun that we can use for boss killing. And we got a little bit more HP. Fantastic. So I am going to go hard on the vampire lady here. I feel like I want to. I think I bullets could make a uh, a pretty good emo. But what about the the vampire bloody heart behind the vampire lady? You think that could be a good like twitch emo right there? The vampire bloody heart. I kind of like that one. <laughs> I don't know why, but I kind of like that one a little bit more. Um, we'll buy the HP because it pays for itself. And that's probably good enough on the HP front. I don't want to go too low. We have the M1 and the Synergy. Synergize it with the ammo belt. I also just, I kind of like the M1 in general. I think it's a pretty decent gun, so, you know, it's a, it's a good why not take. You need a better gun, and you need a better gun so that you can deal more damage. Fine, good enough, you know? By the way, perfect opportunity for an orange. <laughs> I'm... If Milk Jug is going back to eating, uh, you're gonna go eat some oranges? Cause I got your orange right here! Hell yeah. 
Purple gun is only good with high coolness. It's a lot better with high coolness, absolutely. One more. One more. With high coolness, you know, with I think it's 100 coolness, you can actually make it crit on literally every shot, which is really cool. But it's kind of hard to get. You know, with even with like 10 or 20 coolness, it still feels like it doesn't crit all that much. That's not what I meant to do. Um, I just, I would just prefer just something else. You know, in most of the in most of the situations, I would just prefer something else. All right, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of HP. That's pretty good. A crit-only Vorpal Gun does not break the damage cap, no. It just applies a lot of damage quickly. Like, um, a, a, a high critical chance Vorpal Gun, really, to me, that is a gun that you use for room clearing. You could use it against a boss, and it's extremely efficient, but it's a lot of just like, shoot, wait, shoot, wait, shoot, wait. Which gets the job done, admittedly. But I also have to wonder if maybe it's, you know, so efficient. At, uh, at room clearing that it's kind of a waste to use it on a boss fight, because you can use any old gun on a boss, you know, but room clearing, oh, for a room clearer, if you have infinite coolness with the uh, Vorpal gun, you can freaking kill every enemy in one hit. Then again, you know, if you have that much coolness, you're probably not gonna have too much of a problem with ammo. I forget, does does coolness increase your ammo drops? No, it, it, it increases room reward drops, which can include ammo, right? That's what I remember. There we go. I have to pet the chicken. I don't have a chicken. Milk jug. Show me a chicken and I'll go pet it. I don't got no chicken. I don't got no satisfaction either. Use! I used the blank on the freaking uh, evil mage. Standard ass bulletkin hits me. Now it's not like we didn't take damage on the run already. We're not missing out on anything. Without dodge rolling, sure. I have plenty of money. <laughs> for a second I was like, wait, do I have enough money for this? I definitely have enough money for this. Although that's that's tricky. Having a lead maiden in that room, that's a pretty tricky, you know, don't dodge roll situation. Aw oh, fuck. Get this gun away from me. One shot, two kills. Arr. You know what? Oh! Ah, <laughs> damn! I was really hoping it would be a good one. I mean, look, it's a good item. It's not what I wanted, of course. I just, honestly, I kind of. I'm kind of annoyed at, uh... At Super Hot Watch. It just means that I have to keep moving at all times, you know? <laughs> I might I might just drop it. I, I Basically, I drop it every time I get it, which might annoy some people, but... I wanna, I wanna move fast in Gungeon! I don't wanna have to, like... Oh, right, I gotta, you know, start moving so I can actually shoot my gun! Nah, that ain't for me. Gotta go fast. So I'm using the M1 here, gotta go fast. <laughs> all right, you know what? It's not like the rat's gonna take it, because the rat doesn't take it at all, so. We'll just do this. Grab the key. 
You know, I could have also just not picked it up, and I think by picking it up, you kind of lose your, or you ruin your magnificence a little bit, but, you know, whatever. We ruin our magnificence a little bit. I'm not gonna worry. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fret or stress over it. And for people asking, I, I do know two ways that you get infinite coolness, or 100 coolness in Gungeon. Uh, one way is, as was mentioned in the chat, Crisis Stone plus cigarettes. And the other way is cigarettes with the uh, gun soul item. So basically, you need cigarettes. <laughs> you know, I really like that combination, cigarettes plus Vorpal Gun, because you can kind of make it better, but... so few credits from that. Sometimes whenever I defeat a boss, I get like five million hegemony credits, and other times I get like four. I mean, I know that when you get hit, I think you get fewer, but I don't understand why sometimes it feels like I get virtually none. Dun 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 Okay, let's get out of here. We got a lot of guns and items that I don't really care for that much. Oh, he does take super hot watch. Since when? I was gonna take it with me floor to floor so I could sell it. <laughs> Instead, I uh, find out that the freaking rats already watered off with it. What a jerk! I guess he's put on put on gloves since the last patch, you know? Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go and fight the uh, old king. Why not? It's my first Gungeon run of the week. On the new streaming week, so let's give it a shot. I gotta practice for, uh, you know, our inevitable no-hit run attempt in the future. Huh? How many times have I seen the Beholder Shrine since the update? I have seen the Beholder Shrine probably three times. And since this is episode like 90 of my Farewell to Arms Gungeon series, that means I see it about once every 30 runs. Whoops. It's Milk Jug's favorite enemy. <laughs> thunk, 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 thunk. I don't see it that often. I wish it was more common, but I understand that, you know, it can't be super common. What about if you make it appear, like, Im immediately when you defeat the, uh, the Beholster? Oh, you defeated the Beholster? Here's the Beholster Shrine! You know, something that just makes it a little bit more common, because I can't tell you how many times I freaking wish that I had the Shrine, and then I just don't get it. Oh, I got the commando. Well, it doesn't matter. You're not going to get the freaking bolster shrine. Oh, I found the bolster shrine. Well, you don't have... Well, as mentioned, you don't have any of the guns that fit on the bolster shrine. <laughs> oh, God. Good fucking timing. <laughs> Uh, NKDI2211, thanks for bringing up the Bolster Shrine. Uh, please bring up, uh, this gun that I've, I, it's been so long since I've seen it in the Gungeon. I think it's called the, um, the Goon Tear. Uh, yeah, if, uh, if you could, if you could bring up the Goon Tear, you know, that'd be something that I would love to see in Gungeon one of these days. Man, it's so uncommon. You know, why not make it so that if you change your language to German, it always spawns when you play as a paradox. Look, it's not that hard to implement game, okay? Look, if I can come up with the idea, surely you can come up with the idea, okay? Dodge roll. I'll give you that one for free. Don't even, don't even have to put me on your payroll. <laughs> Abe talking smack about the shrine pops up. Fuck you say about me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Hey, if that's how it works, uh, fuck all shrines. Especially the damage shrine.
Ugh. It's a perfect speak of the devil moment right there. Do I have an evil twin? Uh, I am my own evil twin. There we go. Does Gunner give you the health drop from sig damage? I just now realized, Bound Hades, that you, what you're referring to is not the Gunner class from the Long War mod of XCOM 2, which I've been playing a lot of recently. You're talking about Gunner Gun. It took me so long, lovely, to realize that's what you were talking about. The answer to that question is yes. If you take damage from cigarettes, you drop the, uh, the Gunner Skull, and, oh my fucking god. <laughs> And I believe you also get the payout from, um, I remember, you get the payout from the item, what's it called, Holy Grail. So you actually get infinite health and infinite ammo back with Gunner and Holy Grail. And if you use the cigarettes, then you also get infinite coolness. So I guess that is another infinite combination, which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Okay, uh, so by teleporting from that room to this room, we crossed this room, which killed enemies and used all but two of my knives. So when we walk into the next room, pay attention, there's gonna be a couple enemies missing. I think. I'll be honest, I don't quite remember how many enemies are supposed to spawn in that room, but it's likely that there is a couple missing now. Oh. Okay. I gotta get rid of that gun. Was there a cell creep on this floor? I believe there was. We gotta I gotta sell some frickin' garbage here. Okay. And the M1, <laughs> even with the synergy form, it can't kill those standard enemies on this floor. It's kind of, it's kind of disappointing, really. Ah, oh, I sh fucking reloaded the pulse cannon like an idiot. <laughs> All right, what do we need ammo for? Might as well take it for the M1. We have plenty of ammo, I think, in the. Uh, whatever it's called, the name of the gun that we used against the last floor boss. Laser Lotus. We have plenty of Laser Lotus ammo. And we don't really even need a gun much anything right now, although it would be nice to do. We have no gun that is easily thrown up against a wall, so I think we are probably going to have a guaranteed gun drop from the boss. I'm going to be saving the key for the Synergrace chest that spawns after the boss fight, so I guess we're just... We're going to fight the boss using the uh, Laser Lotus in the shell. We do have Knife Shield, I, I like Knife Shield. I've been enjoying it, using it more and more lately. It's not gonna be perfect because there are a lot of, you know, Super Bowl alley attacks that are gonna cost us a lot of our knives, but, you know, anything that gives us a little bit of extra protection, I'm happy to have on an old king fight. Especially when we can stack up as many knives as possible, which is ideally what you want to do here. I also don't know what the uh, proper rate of fire is for the Laser Lotus. I'm basically just firing it as fast as I can. Might be a little bit not super ammo efficient when you consider the boss damage cap, but you know what? Simplicity over the efficiency right now. I just want to shoot. We do basically lose most of our knives, though, on that fight, on that uh, attack right there, though. <laughs> oh, he comboed perfectly. The hardest thing about Bullet King slash Trigger Twin, not Trigger Twin, Bullet King slash Old King is the combo attacks. 
They're so good at the combo attacks. Don't raise your hand in the air, you fool. I do need this gun though. Please, please. My God, we get fight saber in the club. We get fight knives. And we get a better Makarov, or is it? <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, you know what it was? No, never mind. Uh, that was a stupid thing. We picked up an uh, alien sidearm. I was gonna say, oh, we got a synergy out of the chest because uh, it rolled synergy. No, the mimic is the thing that dropped two items, you freaking. You loon! We have another synergy though bullet idol, critic caliber. I don't know what that does. I don't know what that synergy does, but it's synergy. It's a synergy we didn't have before. I'm gonna be selling some things here. We're gonna sell the loot. We're gonna sell alien, alien sidearm. We're gonna sell... Eh, probably nothing else. We don't really need to sell anything, do we? We have, we have a ton of money. Let's just hope that we get like a junkin' or something. Somebody talk about, oh, this item that we've not seen in a, in a long time, this, this junk of the man. Nope. 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 All right, well, uh, fuck you, Shrine. Just see you next time. I'll see you in uh, about 30 more episodes. <laughs> F. Uh, also, Red Bright, hello, welcome. I I saw your hello, it was just in the middle of doing that fight. Doing that floor. Well, you know, at the very least, it's nice to know that the game is always listening and watching. Hello? And that maybe one day we will get that which we need. Our Beholster Shrine completed. Although I don't think there's, like there's no unlock for it. It doesn't like set a flag in your save file as far as I know. The only thing it does is it just gives you all the guns back. Which is fun. You know, it's definitely a cool little Easter egg thing, but it's definitely not something that we need to necessarily worry too much about. That bulletkin got destroyed by the trap. The minecart. He just he just fell into the drink. He got pushed. They nerfed junk and spawn rate, which makes me really sad says Drummond Gande. Yes, they did. Didn't they do that back in AG and D though? Not Farewell to Arms? It's still like 5%, right? Because I think I remember back in AG and D they released, or they uh, nerfed the junk and spawn rate so he's harder to, to find. Which is definitely sad, I agree. More Junkin, more Junkin! Close one. That's a tough room. By the way, in case you were wondering on the last floor, there was a key in the shop. I bought it and opened up the Sinner Grace chest. I bought it before I fought the boss because I, I knew that I was going to want the key regardless. You know, we, it's not like we freaking have uh, gilded bullets. And I just wanted to be able to open it up immediately as soon as we got it. Oh, well, time to bring out the big guns. Crap. The best guns in the game. Okay, the knives actually did 80% of the damage there. 
<laughs> I just I wanted to see how long it would take and I accidentally killed him with the freaking knives. Oh! No wonder my knives were destroyed. I was wondering what the hell was happening there. You might not believe it. I was actually confused. Uh, my knives, they broke on the on the boxes and I was like, what the hell's going on? Knives don't break on boxes. They fixed that back in supply drop because they introduced uh, freaking DD20 mode and, and pot shots and, and stuff like that. You know, they made that change. Oh my God. <laughs> I had no idea that you could use the knives to find a, a wall mimic like that. That's really cool. You know, in theory, at the end of a floor, you could just spend your time going along all the walls just really quickly looking for a, a mimic. Dude, that's awesome. That's awesome. I didn't realize that was something that could happen. If I sold the club, I would get Cog of Battle. Here's the thing, if I did get Cog of Battle, I wouldn't use it with the club. I've done it before, I've seen the synergy, I know how strong it can be. I believe that that synergy is too strong to use. Which doesn't mean that I'm never gonna use it. <laughs> It just means that I, I'm not gonna use it super frequently, I think. Cause it is, it is a, a stupidly powerful synergy. The Clob actually just rips through enemies extremely quickly, you know? However, if what I remember is true. You cannot get the synergy from Synergrace Chest, because it's not actually a synergy, as far as the game is concerned. Let's open it up, why not? We get the freaking gas mask. Uh, we'll open up the green chest, this one's gonna be a gun. Well, if we had lies, we would have an amazingly OP gun, but we do not have lies. And now we're just gonna go and fight the boss, which is good enough, good enough for me. Although we don't have the best of guns for this, but we'll, we'll try to make it work. You know, at least we have a little bit better accuracy, right? <laughs> you go, Shell. Okay, that's a horrible dodge. Shell is not that bad, but I gotta feel like what what do I have that's gonna do the most damage? I'm kind of I'm really lacking a good boss killer without having access to the uh, laser lotus. You know, at least we have battery bullets, we have a little bit better accuracy using the shell at range, which is nice, but still missing missing good damage. And if I have to use another blank, well, um, I'm out. So let's try our best to not get in that situation to begin with, shall we? Speaking of... You know, maybe, uh, maybe knife shield is what we're gonna wanna use against the bosses, you know? Activate the knives and then just immediately throw them. Don't even use them for defense. Now I could do a little bit of extra damage right now by using the box, the mailbox. I could throw boxes at where the, uh, the boss was a second ago, but since you can't kill him until he respawns anyways, there's no point, I think. You know, just go for the dodges. Oh, we get Mega Hand. It's a good enough boss killer that I'm happy. I say good enough, it's one of the best boss killers, but still, I'm happy. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Next floor. Good. Uh, 
Ah. Although I still don't know what we're gonna use. You know what? Just keep using M1, why not? Who needs frickin' Mega Hand? We'll save it. It's gonna be my boss killer of choice. It'd be better than the frickin' shell, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alex, hello, welcome. Ugh. Don't have the best gun for this half, this is the fight saber. You're not wrong. I have the fight saber and I haven't been using it. But that's on purpose. The fight saber, I'll, I'll save it for not every run of Gungeon, because it, you know, similar to the, uh, wow, you shot me! Your shot speed is high. Uh, you know, similar to the other combination I was talking about that's really OP, I forget what it was, uh, uh Clob plus Kaga Battle. Like that, it is a very strong and powerful combination. It's strong and powerful combat, well, it's, except it's just one gun. But it's super strong and powerful, and I just feel like I don't want to use it, you know? It makes the boss fights trivial. I don't want to be trivialized to that extent, at least not on this run. You know, if it's a frickin' uh, BCDD20T run, anything goes. We're not there. Okay. Remember to take ammo for the laser lotus. If ammo would drop, I would. <laughs> Manatee, hello, welcome. How are you doing? Okay. You wouldn't consider Mega Hand a boss killer, really? I mean, it's it's. It's a multi-purpose gun, as far as I'm concerned. Boss killer or room clear, what do you need? What is your run lacking? Whoops, got stuck on the wall. That's kinda how I feel about Mega Hand. It serves whatever purpose you need. Which is why I, I always like getting it. Mod away all the good guns. Yeah, just m clear all of the S-tier items from the pool. <laughs> I like S tier items, but I like the uh, the interesting ones, the more interesting ones. Fight saber, where it's basically just oh, you'll never get hit on a boss fight ever again if you just use the fight saber. It's like oh well, I'd still like to practice my dodging. Despite what I say, I am not the best Gungeon player out there, probably. I don't know, maybe I am. How, how would you classify that? Being the best? Would it be on like a, a, a particular streak? Would it be uh, based on individual accomplishments, hours played? Should we have like a competition? <laughs> <laughs> Who is the best around? Dev, you know what would be interesting? Whoops. I thought I had the charge on this. No, I don't. Uh, you know what could be interesting? Doing like a, a seeded BCDD20T run where every modifier in every room is the exact same. The order of the... You know, the guns that you get from Blessed Mode are the exact same, and then you can see who plays, who does the best! You know? Who wins first? That could be fun. Okay. This is a long floor. <laughs> I mean, we're using Pulse Cannon. Pulse Cannon's pretty good. I see that jammed blob. I don't want him anywhere near me. Oh, 
All right, let's see what's in this chest. It's a green chest, but at least, oh, 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 that's unfortunate. Now, I know that there is a cell creep on this floor. You know, I know that in theory, we could hold on to the frickin' teleporter prototype and then we could sell it to wherever this frickin' gu uh, cell creep is. But honestly, we have 360 credits. I think the last thing we need is like another 40. So I am all for letting the rat take that. Now, I know that we just found it right here, but you know, in principle, who needs it? I rolled the bones. I would not say that the bones paid out with the shotgun. That's still not too bad. Uh, brick of cash. 98, uh, I mean, here's the thing. On the forge, that shop could have anything. <laughs> could even have three guns of mediocre quality, or it could have some really good, you know, A or maybe not S tier, but it could have some A level passives, I believe. So I'm very tempted to just save as much money as possible to try to buy, you know, like plus one to bullets, alpha bullet, omega bullet, anything I could get from the uh, from the shop. Also, I know, I realize now, hey, take the ammo for Laser Lotus. I've been taking ammo for other guns and only partially refilling the Laser Lotus, but you know what? It'll still get the job done. Narn. We're gonna lose all of our knives. I didn't see, actually, that there was gonna be another spread of bullets. They were hidden! Find the other bullet! You son of a gun. I mean, at this point, I just wanna save my blank. Try to find a secret room or something. <laughs> Who's the best Gungeon player? Who can flawless the High Priest? Dude, it's been a million years since I've flawless the High Priest, it feels like. I hate this guy. He's like, he's become my new hardest boss. I think I'm better at freaking Wallmonger than I am at this guy now. And for the longest time, Wallmonger was my hardest boss. You know what? Oh! He got protection at just the wrong moment. All right. Boy Gore Cannon. It's not bad. You know it's not bad? Potentially getting three of the same item. Okay, well you gotta be open first. I don't think he's gonna shoot the other mimics. I don't want him to shoot the Please. Please, please, vanilla crash. No! <laughs> I was really hoping we'd be able to get two flag bullets and crash the game. Because <laughs> it, it does happen. If you can get two flak bullets in Gungeon, you 100% crash the game, and uh, that's a vanilla bug. I, I'm, I believe it has not been fixed in uh, newer versions of Gungeon. I assume it hasn't. <laughs> oh. That's true, Altered Beast. I could have I bought the... Uh, I could have bought the... He didn't do a second dodge roll. I was scared. Uh, I could have purchased the... Thing that showed me where the secret rooms were and then sold items to make a little bit of profit back, but eh, who cares about secret rooms? I'm so good at finding secret rooms anyways, right? And who cares? Well, you should care. Secret rooms can be a very important thing in Gungeon. This is amusing. I just realized that 
the two enemies who are left can't hit you if you don't move. <laughs> now this room is not the same as the last room. Eat no oh, it's actually eat knives. I made all these myself. I'm leveling up my smithing skill. It's a shop. I guess the other thing is that you could always find a uh, another shop, right? Like we just did. And if you find another shop. You might be interested in having that little bit of extra cash. Let's make sure we open these in time. <laughs> we get Frost Giant. We get another garbage gun. The T-shirt cannon. The T-shirt cannon. That is what it is. You know what? Let's Mega Hand. Now that we have Flak Bullets, I at least have a little bit of a... Of a uh, impetus to use it, which is that we have this kind of cool flak bullet effect, and maybe we'll get some extra damage out of the the flak bullet shots, and it kind of looks a little bit cool. Although you only get two mega hand blasts out of the flak bullets, which is kind of sad. You know, like the M1, M1 was giving me like six flak shots. You're already dead. It's perfect. Uh, the M1 was giving me like six flak shots. Bye. I don't know why the Mega Hand only gives you two. Does anyone else wish that Knife Shield plus Flak Bullets, or sorry, Knife Shield plus Aged Bell worked like in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? You're gonna have to t tell me what that reference is, because I don't, I don't understand it. I've never actually seen JoJo. How does Knife Shield plus Aged Bell work in that show? And, which, I assume you're just talking about some particular reference, not actually the item from Gungeon. This is gonna be an interesting one. Okay, it is nice when the flak bullet shots killed that enemy. At least it appeared to. Also, let's take ammo for the correct gun this time. Dio throws knives at the main character and time stops while throwing them so when time resumes the knives all launch at once. Hmm. You know, if I had to guess, I would say that it would synergize with the Blue Guan Stone instead of Aged Bell. Even though that doesn't make a lot of sense if you're explaining it that way. I'm, I'm just thinking, how, how often are you going to get two active items on a run? You have to either start as a pilot or get an item that lets you hold two active items, you know? There's no synergy in the game between two active items as far as I know, for that reason, I believe. So there would have to be like some other synergy, you know, that, that actually gives you that benefit, I think. Why are we doing so much damage? I mean, I know we did just get 25% damage up, but it feels like it was a lot more than that. I hate when the knives break when I shoot them. That was a tricky room. We're actually getting quite a lot of jammed enemies. We're not super cursed, but I guess we do have a couple of cursed items and fight saber, right? So maybe we have a little bit more than I'm, I'm thinking. <laughs> have I seen Bloodstained? No, I haven't yet. Maybe I did. Maybe I looked at it. And I can't remember. Does 
homing affect the flak bullets? I don't know, I can't remember. I don't think so. You son of a gun. We did a lot of damage on that blank, weirdly enough. Uh, I don't think homing affects the flak bullets at all, but I could be wrong. Well, we get something. There is a key. So we can open up this chest. We don't know if it's gonna be a passive or an active, or a gun. It's a gun, but it's a good gun. I have Bullet Idol. Ah, thank you, Apache Thunder, with his encyclopedic knowledge of Gungeon. No wonder those guys died as soon as I got hit. I always forget about that. <laughs> always forget about that combo. I was like, wow, I'm doing a lot of damage when I get hit. Yeah, there's a reason for that. Abraham. And if only I could keep these uh, knives for longer. We now want to use the, I don't know, Frost Giant. Remember to stand on the right. You can't tell me what to do, Cheese Baron. Who do you think you are? I am. Etc. Etc. I wanna wait for the reload to finish. It finished. <laughs> now what gun did I have? Oh man. I don't think we have any other gun that's like capable of killing the heart in one phase. I think it's basically just dueling laser if we can get it charged. <laughs> Key? No, it was money. I was gonna say, like, did we pick up another key? Can I open up another chest? Nope. Junkin? No. Oh. Is the flower lotus synergy still in the game? I haven't had that synergy in a while, but I'm. I don't know why they would take it out. It's not like it's an OP synergy. It's not like it's a starting weapon synergy. I think it just requires a very particular set of items, which is Laser Lotus plus... Cactus? Luxon Cannon? I don't remember. Orange? I actually really do not remember. <laughs> it requires uh, something. No, 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 you're not gonna run away from me. He's still not dead! I like that little dipsy doodle? That little dipsy doodle dandy? Laser Lotus. And Rolling Eye or Shock Grounds. Yeah, that's a very unusual combination. Like, why Rolling Eye? Hmm. Like, I can understand shock rounds, maybe, but rolling eye, it's a weird one. No, 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 you're not gonna live. He's jammed, he's gonna live. Should still do it. Shoot, switch guns! <laughs> you fool! You know what? Wow, I didn't do it! This guy's got a lot of HP. Oh, 
Also, I've missed like four shots in a row. <laughs> Alex says, I haven't done bullet hell in such a long time. You stop playing after the dungeon daily, and you're losing your skill. That's why you gotta, you gotta play some more bullet hell. You know what, honestly? Taking a hit to kill all the enemies is not that bad. I think it would have been a lot of fun if there was like a a Gungeon daily sort of a thing. You could pit your skill versus the skill of any other Gungeoneer out there. That'd be cool. Someone should make that a thing. Dodge roll! Give me my, dun my Gungeon dailies. Nice shot there, buddy. You killed your friend. Laser Lotus is somewhat rare, I guess, so it's only normal. You don't see that synergy that often. I mean, that's true. You know, especially synergies in the game that are, uh, you know, multiple high tier items. Laser Lotus plus shock rounds. I mean, that's A plus A. So, it, you know, that's a synergy that it's going to be tough to get. So I can understand why that m might be a little bit uncommon, or a little bit less common than maybe you would enjoy. Because I know I like some of the... of the more uncommon high-level synergies, just because they're fun. And I think Luxon, or sorry, Laser Lotus does kind of fall into that category. It's a fun synergy because it changes the gun to a different gun, technically. Like, that's cool. Give me more of that. I'd rather go all of my fucking knives. <laughs> wow. 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 These guys really love trying to spawn their Shelaton friends. Don't spawn Shelaton friends! Fucking jam! Just wanted to see if I could. <laughs> if I could land the shot that would save me. What? Oh, I know exactly what happened there. That freaking... That was one hell of a shot. Against the back wall. Into my little hidey hole. Around the back into my little hidey hole. <laughs> Out of ammo. Must shoot, gun, and then change. Flowers have eyes. Is it? I don't get that. Flowers have eyes. That's why it's a synergy with the rolling eye. Is that like a, a biology thing? I was never that. I never paid attention in biology class. Please. Donk. I was really hoping that that knife would kill that bullet kitten. <laughs> I want to try to be a little bit more aggressive with my uh, with my knife usage, because they don't seem to last that long anymore, do they? What wrong gun? Switch over to the freaking dueling laser, okay?
Whoa. Okay. There we go. Ugh. Man, it's a... Uh... It's been a, a, a tricky run of Gungeon. I know I have this fight saber that I haven't been using, and I know we turned down Super Hot Watch, but... Still using the frickin' Pulse Cannon. I guess we, we should probably switch to something else now. Let's use Mega Hand for a while. Let's stop... Let's stop poo-pooing the, the high-quality items that we have. It's frickin' bullet hell. If we don't use them now, we're never gonna use them. Come on, Abe, use all the, the good stuff that you got. All right, fine, we'll do it. Just to please you. Just to please the one of you out there who wants to see the Mega Hand. Oh, good lord. I feel like I've also gotten pretty unlucky with jammed enemies. There's been a lot of jammed enemies, and they've been big enemies. They have not been teeny tiny enemies. It's been revolving in chance belongs. Whiz bangs. It's been the big boy enemies. You know what I might like more than flak bullets? Angry bullets. Angry bullets is a lot of fun. When you fire in a, you know, a uh, single high powered shot and you get like four kills. I love when that happens. Although I do hate that in in DD20 mode because it affects Blybillon Rancher and Unfriendly Fire. Oh God! The knives don't break the bullets. It just causes them to split. How rude! Okay. But it has been a nice run of Gungeon today. A nice, straightforward run, you know? And I like nice, straightforward runs of Gungeon where I can just play the game the way it was meant to be played and have an excuse to go and fight the old king and... You know, this is my, my, my bread and butter. This is my jam baby. All right, let's finish this off. Let's use Void Core Cannon. Let's use Dueling Laser here. I do like the uh, flak shots with Void Core. You know, we're not gonna get homing out of the flak shots at all, but it's still cool. I also don't think they do a, a ton of damage. Sorry, I don't think they do a ton of damage against the uh, the boss. Because I, I don't even know if they actually technically hit the boss. They might just phase through him a little bit. Because it, it does seem like the flag shots phase through the enemy that you hit with the actual main projectile. Now maybe that's just because they have a little bit of piercing on them or something. Or maybe that's just an effect of... Of, uh, of something else that I don't quite understand, but it definitely feels like the flag shots don't hit the main target. Hmm. You think you have a favorite synergy that isn't an official synergy, Scrambler and Hip Holster? Yeah, I mean, that's not, yeah, it's not a, a, an official synergy, but it's as much of a synergy as you can get. Hip holster means that any one-shot gun has doubled ammo capacity, basically. Double efficiency, double shots. It's really good. It's the situation that item was basically made for. <laughs> I gotta stop being lazy about that and, and kind of relearn the uh, the little boxy pattern for dodging those shots coming out of the walls, because I'm gonna need to do that at some point when we eventually start doing even more 
things like BCDD20, which would be a lot of fun. So this here. There you go. I have 7.5 curse right now? Really? How do I get that much curse? I guess we did buy the badge and then Badge Man died and we have Fight Saber. But that's all we have that's cursed, right? We didn't steal anything else on the run, I don't think. I don't know why my curse would be that high. Probably a bad time to use the knife shield, but <laughs> what's done is done. Alright, get out of here, lich. Knife shield is also cursed, that's true. So we had like, I mean, we had like, how, how much curse is fight saber? Is it two curse or one curse? Because if it's two curse, then we would be at 3.5, 4.5, 5.5, 6.5 curse, right? Because if Fight Saber is 2 and Knife Shield is 1, that's 6.5, right? I don't know. It would be cool to have an item that makes all projectiles home on enemies like Flak Shots and Knife Shield Daggers. I mean, that's basically the crutch, except it doesn't really affect Knife Shield, I don't think. Or, uh, or Flak Bullets. I mean, th that's not... Y you could probably make it so that the knife shield synergized off of passives. Like, if you use the knife shield, some of the knives are poison, some of the knives are charming, so, you know, the knives will uh, create flak bullets. You could probably make that happen. Um, but it's, you know, it's just not something that exists in the game right now. Anyways. <laughs> Hey, that was a good run of Gungeon. Uh, got hit on High Priest, F the High Priest. I hate the High Priest. I I don't know why, but he is probably my my least flawless boss right now. It used to be the Wallmonger, but I've gotten better at the Wallmonger lately. I think that's cost me some of the High Priest. I think part of the problem is that it feels like I don't get the High Priest that often. It feels like most of the time I get the uh, kill pillars, or I get wallmonger, and I have to wonder if maybe it's because the high priest fight you can only enter it from the bottom. I think you can't enter it from the left or the right side. I think it has to be the bottom. I, can't, I forget, but I feel like I need to practice the high priest a little bit more. Uh, more. I, I I don't know what it is. Like, I wonder if it's like a level generation thing where the game creates the layout and then it wants to put the the boss fight somewhere and it's like oh well the high priest room doesn't fit because it's a, a bottom entrance and I you know I need to use the top entrance or I need to use the side entrance or something I don't know in any case for those of you on YouTube thank you very much for watching like the video if you've enjoyed it subscribe for more check me out on Twitch and support me everywhere you can and I'll see you next time